Hey, what's up, Yins guys? <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. It's February, the end of February, leap year February, so you have the extra day in there. A good way to remember all this stuff, by the way, is leap year, Olympics, presidential campaign. It's all the same four years. So there you go. Hopefully that helps. Anyway, welcome to Press Start TV. My name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hey. Guys, let's talk about some news. Um, so Smite, uh, you Smite fans that are out there, you Xbox Smite fans that are out there, um, loving that game uh, is uh, what somebody used to tell me the other day that we were playing online with. Smite is life. Yeah. <laughs> Smite is we life. We finally get a piece of that pie. Finally coming to PS4. Pie. That's pretty exciting news, oh, I guess. Yeah. And a shout out to Gabriel, their marketing PR guy. Great, great game. Great, great gag. You guys are doing great. Now, what do you think? Smite, PS4, this is I'm a big excited. deal. I, I mean, I have an Xbox One now, <laughs> but I don't have an Xbox Live Gold, and I really want to play Smite. Uh, so. <laughs> you're like holding out on that. Like, Congrats, by uh, the way. It's so close. But I can't play it. But now, with it coming to PS4, I, I can play it and have fun. And you get a white. register now, and you already have a Smite account and have played, your skins and everything will carry over. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. That's really cool. Well, that you would have to register now <clears throat> before the game comes out. Register now. I would do that, but even when I play it on PC, I don't know if I unlock too much. But right. yeah, but I did play it when it was on PC. My PC being a toaster, so I didn't get to enjoy it as much. Uh, I was looking at the PS4 launch visuals, and it looks awesome. It looks so. Did you see that like finisher yeah. where she yeah. spears them, and then the dragon comes out? I was like, all right, let's. I need I this. Just can't, I can't wait. It's the first yeah. moment that I've been it's super duper excited for. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, this looks like a fun game to play. As well you now, should. for the people who haven't played Smite, what is it about this MOBA that makes it great? Well, first of all, you're tapping into uh, mythology, which I think is awesome. Like, they're using Greek Amen. gods, Roman gods, all that stuff. First time I played the free character rotation, it was, uh, it was uh, Hermes, um, basically, and like one of his like attacks. One of the weakest characters. Yeah. But yeah, and he just like he like, runs across this map straight up, and like you could beat people into a turret, which was just what I kept doing. I was griefing people really hard, um, but every character was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, there are a ton. A ton of characters, all cool power ups. Yeah. You're constantly adding more. Yeah. Well, because you have finding more. Using mythology, you really have yeah, limitless. Resource. You have years and years of dead civilizations, deities. Do you think that's why we like God of War so much, no? I love God of War. I know. Yeah, I know. The Greek mythology behind God of War is fantastic. They get it perfect, but it I wonder so if it's good. just the setting that makes God of War great. Well, I think it's great too because they also incorporate things that aren't typically like gods. Like, yeah. Like, uh, um, what's that book? The Odysseus and yeah. Yeah. those. They have people, characters from those in the God of War series, which is great. Yeah. And so it just kind of tells that, that story a little bit God more. Stuff, yeah. Right. So, you know. And the Titans and all that fun stuff. So it's really, really cool. So, uh, anyway, Smite coming to PS4. Check it out if you get a chance. Uh, Fallout 4 recently won Game of the Year at the DICE Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, congrats to Bethesda on, on that. Um, you made a good game. game. I, I am... Made a fun game. You're playing the crap out of I Fallout am need, 4. I am knee-deep in Fallout 4. <laughs> Every time I sign on PS4. I, I'm trying to get no. through the thing, and it just yeah. is taking forever. You got to like 25 the other day. It's all about <laughs> your little trophy. I, saw the, I liked You're the it. first person that sent me a message on the trophy I got. <laughs> I, I, I I, awesome. It's the first time I've ever done it, too. I was just like, congratulations. <laughs> It's like thanks, yeah. man. I just saw it pop up. I was like, I was like, I know he's just, just. Dude, I was totally like, like, yeah, I did, that was a good job. You know wasn't what? It? <laughs> Do that more often with your friends when you see a good trophy. Because I don't think I've hit 25 yet. There you go. I don't know. Yeah. It's been a lot since I played, so I need yeah. to get back into it. Me too. You're watching and listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Nine. This is James. Yeah. Uh, talking about, uh, by the way, quick Fallout 4 uh, note. Um, so somewhere in the middle of the game, you have to go find, there was a mission, a side mission somebody signed you on. It's like this beer guy. Yeah. He's a, he's a robot. And you escort him back to said place. And his sole purpose is designing ice cold beer in the apocalypse which he can produce like once every one two beers every week or something. yeah yeah and he also entertains so he tells jokes so i said okay tell me the joke and he goes a blind man walks into a bar and then a chair and then a table <laughs> just like, they're dad jokes yeah. they're totally dad yeah. jokes man yeah but I was just rolling I was like and the other ones are pretty funny too but I was like I told that to my wife and she just lost it <laughs> anyway um, the Valve VR headset is launching in early April uh, according to them uh, the HTC Valve VR headset 
Vive. The Vive uh, from <laughs> Valve, sorry. Yeah. Sounds uh, good. Is coming at a price point at eight hundred dollars. Yeah, that's steep. I'll oh, never have man. you. <laughs> like yeah. I, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope they can deliver some pretty fantastic experiences on that. That's all I can say. So, I if I have any relatives that are writing any wills <laughs> anytime soon, just know I, I you know, I can That's use what you five. Want? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just so you know, just eight hundred dollars here or there. Now, do you have to have any kind of upgraded PC I tech hardware to run this thing or this thing came out more money? Left field. <laughs> That's all I see. Here. That last summer they were the last ones to announce that they're making a VR headset. Right. And now they're front runner to come out first and they're at the highest price point yeah so i, I don't know i don't know it better be really good yeah yeah well, good luck we'll see what happens i guess uh, we'll move on really quick uh Five by the way out. uh as of today that we are actually filming this it is the legend of zelda's 30th anniversary <laughs> Zelda. I should have brought the shield. <laughs> um, now you're really mad you didn't bring I did. I am. I am. I, 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 I should have lugged it into work and everything and then pull up in here. 30 years of <laughs> Zelda madness. The, the cop that pulled me over would have been like, why do you have a shield in there, sir? And like, oh, i got to save a princess, man. Right. Don't we all? Now, Nine, I think you know this, but James, I'll ask you. So, Legend of Zelda 30th year anniversary obviously made its appearance in Japan. What did it make it as, what was, what did the cartridge look like? Oh, I don't know. It was actually a floppy disk. Oh, nice. It was a gold a floppy disk. Oh. Gold floppy disk, nice. and it only had one little bar at the bottom of the title of the game, and that was it. There's no picture, there's no details on it, just Legend of Zelda. That's, Japanese, that's how you could play it. That yeah. was pretty cool. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about The Division, by the way, when we get back and give out some huge thank yous right after this. What's up, everybody? Welcome hey back. There. What's up? Mm. We're gonna talk about uh, the division. 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 The division. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a uh, the, the the demo was out and playable, and the game comes out next month in March. It's one of the most hyped games of first quarter 2016, if not the most hyped game of uh, first quarter 2016. But uh, the demo's out. Uh, hopefully some of you played it. You guys have played it. I actually have it waiting for me at home, so I haven't yeah. had a chance with it yet. But what do you guys think so far? Nine, do you want to start? You start, because you probably have better things to say. I have that, better right? things to say. You just, Go ahead. I love what you raising on the chat. Ah, so I, I got to be positive here, because Nine's going to bear it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of things I like about the game. I love the UI. I think we can agree on that. The UI is yeah, like it, awesome. Um, and compared to the closed beta, the open beta has made some improvements. I have noticed there's a lot more like things in the environment. Like I don't know if you noticed nine, there's a lot more frozen dead bodies on the ground, mm -hmm. which makes a more haunting uh, visual. There's also a lot of like stagnant stuff in the background. So I like when I go to snipe a guy and say there's a Red Bull can in the way, it takes out the Red Bull can and his face. Uh, awesome. All that stuff's really cool. And it's I, what I really feel like about the game is hard for me to decide is whether I'm gonna like it or not because if you played the Destiny open beta, they they cap you at like you know eight or eight. ten or something eight, eight. Yeah. yeah so division's the same thing, but the difference was is that everything up until eight you could play with whereas the division is giving you a lot of things like I've got gun parts I've got electronics I've got all this stuff but I can't use any of it it's like oh no not available in the beta and I kind of wish we got to play with more of that so we can make more of an educated decision because it's a, it's an MMO kind of thing so you're gonna spend a lot of your time doing these side quests right. that weren't available to you so moving on to the big thing which mm -hmm. is the dark zone. And it pushes you into the dark zone is fun. It does, I think, create the social experiment atmosphere that it intends to, and the fact that anytime I run past a group of three guys and like my back is to them, the whole time I'm just like, they're gonna shoot me. Yeah. They're gonna shoot me. Um, a little bit of suspense there, I guess. Yeah, it is, cool. and it is a social experiment between like you know, are people inherently good or are they just there to get stuff? Like, there's people that just sit at the extraction point to kill you okay. and take what you earned. But there's a lack of direction, I feel, in the dark zone that I like more of. It's kind of just like wandering is around. That because of it's uh, kind of strapped with the demo again, or maybe. See, and that's all, all the things that are hard for me to say. Not no, anything. I got very bored very quickly. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Like as soon as we finished all the like PVE stuff and went into the dark zone, because he was level eight and I was only level seven. Something else. They put changed. us on separate servers, which I think is a little ridiculous for a beta you're trying to get across with mass people. I and correct so. me if I'm wrong. The closed beta that wasn't the case. I felt like I don't remember. I spent a lot of my time in the dark I only zone. Spent 
very small time in the closed beta and the dark zone. Yeah, I was trying to level up my dark zone level and my regular level at the same time, but I remember playing with level 8s and stuff. Right. I feel like people complained during the closed beta and were like, oh, I get killed by a level 8, even though it didn't have much to do with it. I, I just... I liked it, but at mm -hmm. the same time, for the beta purposes, it, they didn't need to do that. Right. I like that idea because that's how they'll separate the level 30 end game stuff from the level 29s and, and lower. Yes. You know? Because they said it's going to be a totally different experience. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. We're talking about the division right now. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hello. Uh, by the way, great stream uh, with your sister joining. <laughs> I thought that was cool. I know, James, you were on there your, as well. Your sister looks just like you. I, yeah, I didn't they, see they her. I'm a year and a half older than my sister, too. Yeah. That's well, Taylor pulled up the stream for me the next day, and I looked, and I was like, oh my god, they yeah. do look exactly yeah. like, you just need a chess piece, and you guys are like, yeah. longer hair? <laughs> I couldn't tell, man. Anyway. Um, anyway, so... Well, so I got really bored, like really fast. I got bored faster in the open beta than I did in the closed beta. Because in the closed beta, I felt like I, there was more encounters constantly popping up. Mm. The open beta, once you finished all the encounters, that was it. There was nothing else to do. Yeah. So a couple quick things. Gameplay-wise, pretty solid, good. It's solid. I yeah. feel like it's more responsive now because in the original PS4 closed beta, there was a lot of like controller lag. Also, people die quicker. Did you notice that? I really felt like they did. In the new one? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. before I had and to empty a whole clip. Was a little bit adjusted. Yeah, I had to empty a whole clip in a guy. Now I actually can kill two people and then reload, and yeah. that's a lot more efficient. How about uh, atmosphere? Atmosphere is awesome. Weather is spot on. Yeah, yeah. the weather like, is The weather is just ridiculous. You know what I noticed, too? Taylor was in the PvE zone, I was in the dark zone, and he was just like, oh my god, it just got really, there's no visibility now. And I was like, sweet. So if New York, I think, and I'll have to look into this, I'm pretty sure the whole city, they changed the weather for everybody. So it's the same yeah. for all of us at the same point in time, which I find kind of cool. Shout out to Taylor, our DM. We love you. You're amazing. There my you bro. go. Bro. Hi. All right. Um, so, but going back really quick to a point you brought up, I mean, it is a demo. Yes. So maybe they want to cap you, um, not maybe cap your experience yeah. on what you're actually doing to entice you to go out and buy the game, right? Do you feel it did its job as a beta, or should they give you more? I mean, as a beta, I guess they were just out to test server load functionality and get critical feedback on gameplay mechanics, not really, you know, give people the full experience of the game. Which, in that case, I'm sure it probably accomplished its goal. But for me, if the beta is any representation of the game itself, it's going to get boring. So you need more. It's going to get yeah, it boring. Yeah, it left more quick. questions than anything. Like, going into the beta, I feel like I have more hype. Now I'm just like, and, all right, is that stuff going to be enough for me thing, when I get to play it? Another yeah. thing, they never explain what you're supposed to do in the dark zone. <laughs> Not once. That's what I'm saying. There's a lack of direction. There, there is absolute zero communication you're to what you're dark. supposed to do. There's no tutorial on it. There's, I mean, yeah, great pun, by the yeah. way. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. I went for the um, easy one. But yeah, the zero direction on the dark zone in the beta. Now, maybe that's different because they just wanted to focus on, like, balancing mm -hmm. and just wanted people to go in and, you know, start mass murdering everybody. Yeah, right. I don't know. <clears throat> that happened. Uh, another thing I didn't like about the dark zone is I put my turret down to take out some rogue agents, and my turret just started targeting me. anybody that wasn't in my party. Oh, really? That is bad. Did that needs rogue? to be fixed. Yeah, I got rogue because my turret was killing people that, never happened that I never expected it to be killing. Yeah. I was like, uh, that's not good. Awkward. I'm like running away, running away, and says, you've gone rogue. I'm like, no, I didn't. I'm running away. <laughs> All right, well, check out The Division. comes out uh, next month. Uh, I, I th I'm sure there's more to offer in the game, and I think it's going to be a great title. We'll that's see okay. what it can deliver. Yeah, it's going to be very, very cool. When we get back, we're going to talk about thank yous. Just a lot of thank yous uh, right after this. Hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, that leads me into our next segment. By the way, my name's Will. This is Nine. Hello. This is James. Hi. You're watching and listening to Press Start TV. Uh, so uh, we just kind of want to thank anybody and everybody in our lives uh, just that has inspired us, has supported us, uh, whether gaming, anything at all, um, and just give shout outs to basically anybody and everybody um, in the video game world, family, personal, it doesn't matter. So let's just kind of have a little round-robin conversation here about who we'd like to thank. Hmm. 
So I'll start off. I'll thank, of course, my family for allowing me to play video games so much. <laughs> uh, I got two kids, and you know, it's uh, not easy to get in time to play. So thank oh, you. Oh, we know. <laughs> yeah. um, I also will continue just a little bit, and I want to thank uh, all of our employees at uh, Press Start, and of course, you two guys at Press Start TV. Um, it's it's an honor to be able to work with such great people. So there's Agreed. my there's my start. Um, and Norman Reedus. I want to thank Norman Reedus for <laughs> Walking Dead. <laughs> and, and bringing back the squinty eye look again. That works. And I hope Silent Hills comes to fruition. Uh, well, Guillermo. Be Silent Hills, but it'll be something. See, some people still think it's going to be Silent Hills. They can't because I, I, Konami owns I know, the franchise. I know, but they're just... He's going <laughs> to... Like, Norman Reedus is going to challenge them. Something like it. As long as something like it. As long as it's something like it. Those lines. Norman Reedus will challenge them to a match of manliness for the title of Silent Hills, I feel. And then, then we'll see. James. Ah, uh, my wife, my mother, and my daughter for being in constant support through everything. And my dog for not chewing up any of my gaming related materials for repurchase. <laughs> it's truly, it's truly great to work with you all. <laughs> um, Red Bull for Red Bull. keeping me pepped up through There's these segments. One. and. Yeah. yeah, we love us some Red lots Bull. of dance moves and various yeah. things. <laughs> for sure, Red Bull. That's on my list as well. Yeah. yeah. The Witcher for, you know, just just keeping me coming back and constantly making me do more and more side quests. It's like watching an anime f that has filler that's actually good. <laughs> yeah, so the side quests are fun. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I'll, I'll thank Bethesda for, for giving me that experience with the Fallout. Yeah, definitely. Um, and CD so Project many Red. other titles, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Giving me the open world experience I never dreamed of as a child. And, and yeah, um, because those are, the, those are the experiences that uh, people are into. I mean, that's what you can do with games now. I mean, mm -hmm. imagine 10 years from now. I mean, it's going to be crazy. Uh, I will start with my parents for ever buying me my first Nintendo system. True. Oh, man. And me too. And pretty much just letting me have free reign of video games. They never, like told me I couldn't play something because it was too bad or too violent or too scary or whatever. Awesome. So they let me kind of be my own judge and like be responsible about it. That's cool. So my mom that, did that too. I, I, I props to them for raising my kids smart. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they I, felt... well, I wouldn't say I came out smart, but uh, <laughs> I certainly missed a couple classes because of video games. We'll leave that at that. Um, and then, of course, my current family, my wife and two kids. My son loves playing video games. Hopefully my daughter will enjoy playing video games. <laughs> yeah. um, and my wife for being supportive of what we're doing here. So. Does your wife play at all? No. My wife's <laughs> terrible at video games. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My, my five-year-old son, well now he's six, actually taught my wife how to play video games. Awesome. Because he's better than her. Oh wow, that's really cool. He was really figuring cool. stuff out on NAC. Your children, your children were the gateway drug for yeah. your wife. That's good. It's great. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, and then, you know, companies like From Software. Yeah, sure. For games like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, One, Two, and soon to be Three, and Bloodborne, um, but mostly, actually, if I had to pick two companies to thank, I would thank Nintendo for sure. the Legend of Zelda: The Ocarina of Time. Yeah, wow. My all-time favorite, like open-world yeah. game, <clears throat> and rare for Golden Oh wow! Golden I think that was my absolute favorite as N64 game. Yeah. And it, it was like I have to play games for the rest of my life because of this game right here. Mm. I mean, in my opinion, that's the game that started multiplayer. I mean, to, to the yeah. degree that it is. I mean, mm. it's just you, it's certainly put it that's the game level. that made you want to go over to your buddy's house and sit down that and game get ended it. friendships. It's just crazy, <laughs> yeah. man. I'd like to thank uh, Square Enix for giving me Final Fantasy VII and so many Final Fantasies. Um, and I'm going to preemptively thank you for giving me Final Fantasy XV in thank 2016 you. because I won it. Uh, <laughs> that's about it there. Um, I'll thank the big three, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. They, uh, you know, they've had their bumps and, and issues along the way. And they're obviously competitors, but you know, for us, we're all gamers, and, and you want good experiences. And I love it when the, the three of them uh, compliment each other yeah. and uh, talk to each other. It just makes, does me 
good because that's what gaming's about, in my opinion. We're all gamers. We all use the health, same health potions. Um, I'll also thank my mom for, for buying me my, my. I actually had an Atari 2600. And I remember going to the store back in the day. It was like Montgomery Ward or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and like looking at the Atari boxes in the shelf, that was like my first gaming experience. Like, which one's that? Demon Attack? That was fun. My mom bought me a Nintendo Entertainment System. That was like my, my first best friend and babysitter. Uh, <laughs> I and think we, we did a awesome. we did a show. Um, we should we should do one with you soon. But we yeah. did a show with like our favorite Christmas gifts yeah. of all time. And that Pokemon was, Red and Blue when I was seven years old. Oh yeah, I was like it was <laughs> oh I, I it was it was my best Christmas ever. It was the first Christmas I met my dad, and I had Christmas with my mom and my dad. And he didn't even know much about me at the time, so he just gave him mom like a bunch of money and was like, get him something he likes. So it was a Game Boy and Pokemon Red, and I was like one of the first kids to get it. Like I remember sitting on my mom's lap and just being like, oh my god, yeah. freaking out. Um, I'd like to thank Mortal Kombat too for uh, initially <laughs> bringing initially bringing me and my wife uh, together. Oh sure, that's a yeah, great story. Well, cause yeah, yeah, because I I'm, I I came to visit her, you know, before we were even dating, and. Uh, she beat me up and down in Mortal Kombat 1 through 3. The first time anybody's beat me in a fighting game. <laughs> Nonetheless, a romantic interest, and I fell in love. And for settling so many marital disputes after that, just being like, oh, really? I left the cup on the kitchen counter? All right. Go get Sonya Blade. Johnny Cage will be there in a minute. We'll see how this goes down. Well, that's awesome. So yeah. so thank you to all your support, to everybody in our, that supports Press Start TV, all our PR contacts as well. Thank we you so much. You thank you to all you guys. We love all of you, of course. That's all the time we have for you today. Uh, check us out on PressStartTV.com. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye, Nora.